Hi, I'm Frank G from Jantech Windows. In this episode, I'm going to answer the most common questions about how condensation can form on windows and what you can do about minimizing it. This is the Two Minute Window. First, I want to tell you that if, if you're experiencing condensation between the insulated panes of glass, there's a problem with your windows themselves. This condition is an indication that the window seals have failed or they're damaged and they're allowing outside air to enter through the breach in the factory seal. And depending on the circumstances, the window may need to be replaced. In most cases, condensation appears on the surface of the windows and is not an indication of a defect in the window. In fact, by replacing your drafting windows and doors or installing a new roof or siding, you're actually reducing the airflow in your home and you're making it tighter. Tighter homes and buildings retain more humidity, which is actually a big factor in the formation condensation. Humidity was always there in your home or your building, but your old windows never caused it to show. And so you thought, or you're thinking, was not present before your windows were installed, your new windows were installed. So what causes condensation? Condensation is caused by excess moisture in the air. When moist, humid air comes into contact with cooler surfaces, and the moisture then condenses into liquid form. This is referred to as reaching the dew point, or the temperature at which water vapor in the air liquefies into dew. Condensation can form on the glass surfaces inside or outside of the home. When there's excess humidity or water vapor in a home or a building, it manifests itself in the form of condensation on the coldest area of the wall, and, and normally that's going to be your window. The warmer the air, the more moisture or water vapor it will hold. So when your air, uh, when the air in your home comes to co into contact with colder glass surfaces, it's subsequently cooled and the moisture vapor is released into the form of condensation. So now let's talk about where on the windows condensation usually forms and why. Condensation forms at the meeting rail and at the bottom of the lower sash on the interior of the glass. This is because when warm air cools, it falls across the interior surface of the window. At the same time, the temperature of the air is falling. So the air contacts the horizontal surface of the meeting rail, which then acts as a dam, slowing the air's rate of fall and creating a perfect opportunity for the trapped water vapor to escape in the form of dew and form on the meeting rail surface. Then the air rolls over the edge of the meeting rail and again builds up speed until it encounters the lower handle of the sash. At this point, the water vapor again makes its egg exit in the form of dew and lies at the bottom of the sash. Two main things you can do to reduce condensation are to control the sources of, of, of moisture and, and increase ventilation. You should try taking these steps to do that. First of all, use an ex exhaust fan in your kitchen, in your laundry room, and in your bathroom. Vent gas burners clothes dryers, etc., to the out outdoors. Shut off or reduce the output of furnace humidifiers and other humidifying devices in your home. Be sure that the ventilating louvers in your attic and your basement or crawl space are open and amply sized to let in the fresh air. Open fireplace dampers to allow an escape route for moisture-laden air. I also encourage you to check our website, jantechwindows.com, where you'll find a lot more information on our company, our products, and also very informative blog articles to help you with all of the questions you may have about replacement windows and patio doors. So thanks for watching. Again, I'm Frank G from Jantech Windows. And remember, save energy, capture comfort.